Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Anna Romandas, and I am a young professional advisor at United Europe. Um, I'm here today at Lisbon at the Universidad Luciada uh, with Professor Pedro Passos Coelho, who was the Prime Minister of Portugal in, from 2011 until 2015. Um, he gave us an amazing speech, and I would like to ask him a question. So, could you please tell me? Um, how is Europe doing right now, given the Brexit, uh, populism, separatism, and other challenges? What is the what is the vision for the future of Europe? Hi. Uh, well, it seems uh, a great mess in the European Union, but it's not so worst as it seems. Uh, I think first that it will be possible to manage the, um, an ordered Brexit. Uh, the European Union, which is important to uh, recover uh, in the future a good relationship uh, with British uh, people. And uh, uh, I would say, as a Portuguese, uh, they are needed uh, in Europe. We cannot oblige them to, to stay inside the EU. But I think we all will lost something. Um, if uh, uh, this situation will not re be reversed in the in the future, so we must have uh, um, a good friendship uh, in the in the divorce. Uh, I hope uh, this weekend the European Council uh, could uh, be able to get a good um, agreement with the with the British people. And for the second part of your question. Yes, we have populism, yes, we have tensions uh, in Europe, yes, uh, after the, the crisis um, we, we paid uh, social, with social tensions uh, and political tensions um, uh, the price of the problems we wouldn't be able to solve previously. But we can learn about um, this history and we can prevent this kind of um, um, tensions in the future. Uh, what is important is the politicians doesn't change their places with the populists, because a true populist is better than the false one. So uh, I would like to um, expect that uh, responsible politicians all over the EU um, uh, maintains their uh, thoughts about Europe, the effort that we must do uh, to enlarge uh, our uh, internal market, to open more the Europe to the world. This is uh, fundamental, not only to be a tolerant society, but to uh, get a more uh, cohesion, uh, uh, political and social cohesion inside the EU. It depends on politicians, because politics commands everything. When you uh, heard that the economy is um, ordering uh, or commanding something, that's because uh, in the past a politician failed uh, in his decision. So everything is commanded by the willingness uh, of the people and uh, of the politicians, but they must assume their responsibilities and not blame uh, Brussels for what they uh, have done um, worst in the past. Uh, each one in this country can defend the euro, um, the eurozone, uh, the European Union, uh, and we will get at uh, the rhythm that is possible to, to get to maintain cohesion on one side and on the other side the diversity of the national um, uh, um, peoples in the, in the EU. And I believe in Europe, so uh, we can get more united in, in the future without um, uh, speaking all the time about um, uh, federalism and the European government and, and so on. Uh, but if we want to be responsible in Europe, we must be responsible in our home too, um, matching the European values with the national values.